Now, swimming is a fun and great activity to stay fit, but as many of you have probably discovered already, it's an incredibly hard sport to master. So today, I'm gonna to run you through five essential skills to really help further your swimming. Okay, first on the list has to be breathing. I mean, we all know how to breathe, surely. I mean, that's pretty simple. But try and time your breathing with your arm strokes whilst being submerged in the water, and things get a lot more difficult. And what a lot of people end up doing is taking a big gasp, a big breath of hair, and then desperately trying to hold on to it, which is you know, quite understandable, I guess. But actually, what ends up happening by doing that is an increased feeling of breathlessness because by holding on to that breath, we have an increased buildup of CO2, which makes us feel out of breath. What we should be aiming to do is taking a good, normal sized breath. And then as soon as our head submerges back into the water, we begin tricking that breath throughout the next few strokes. And then we're ready to take another breath. So it becomes a nice smooth and continuous action rather than gasping and then holding. To get the knack of this, you can practice simply holding onto the wall, taking a breath, dropping down whilst trickling your breath, and then bouncing back up off the floor and then keep repeating. Now next on the list is another fundamental skill and that is streamlining. Now to get rather geeky for a second, water is 784 times more dense than air. That means that we experience far more resistance when passing through water as opposed to say running or walking outside in the air. So it's very important that we try to reduce this resistance when passing through the water. And the way we can do that is by making ourselves smaller. And the way in which we personally could do this is by streamlining. So if we, for example, push off the wall in a big stretched out starfish shape, with arms spread out, legs spread out, we feel far more resistance than say, neatly tucked up with our arms above our head and our feet together. So practice just that, push off the wall, one hand on top of the other, arms stretched above your head with your head tucked in, ankles together and toes pointed, and simply glide. See how far you can get with one push off the wall. Take this same skill into your swimming too. Try to avoid any unnecessary movements that would cause resistance through the water. Essentially, you're aiming to push the smallest object through the water. And now we're gonna look at kick. Now, some may be surprised that I'm including kick or including it so soon, but actually your kick provides a lot of balance and timing to your stroke. And by getting the mechanics and understanding the movements of the kick can set you up really well. Now, the kick should mostly come from the hips with a soft knee. Try to avoid excessive bending of the knee, but equally make sure you're not locking that knee out fully. And then your toes should be nicely pointed. So you're continuing that nice movement all the way through down into your ankles, your feet, and all the way off to the toe. To begin with, I would recommend using a kickboard. Just simply rest your arms on the board and keep your head up. That way you can simply focus on your legs. If you struggle to move forward initially, try relaxing your ankles more. You can even opt to use small fins to help with this movement and ankle flexibility. Okay, now moving on to turns. If you're wanting to string together multiple lengths at a time, you're gonna to want to turn. You've got a couple of options here. You've got the standard touch turn, but you've also got the tumble or flip turn. The more simple of the two is obviously the touch turn. As the name suggests, you approach the wall, touch or grab it with one hand, tuck your knees up and bring your legs underneath you, plant your feet on the wall, and then take that hand off the wall, over your head above the water, and back into the water as you push off. Bring your hands together into a nice streamlined position as you push and glide off the wall. Now for most, the touch turn is a pretty good starting point and may well be all you need. I mean, you can actually get pretty quick at doing them with practice. But if you're looking to step things up, you may wanna try the flip turn, which is certainly faster when mastered. Now obviously it's quite a skill to get the hang of, so you might want to check out our detailed flip turn or tumble turn video that runs you through a nice step-by-step -step guide on how to do them. But for now, here's a quick run through. Swim towards the wall, take your last stroke above or slightly after the T mark on the floor. At this point, one hand should be heading back towards your hip and the other is pulling you forwards towards the wall. 
start dipping your chin down into your chest and start the somersault. A good way to describe it is as if you're reaching down for your toes with both hands. However, before you touch your toes, flip your feet over the water towards the wall, plant your feet on the wall with a nice bend in your knees to absorb the momentum. Slowly bring your hands together into a streamlined position above your head and now push off the wall and rotate onto your stomach whilst gliding. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. Right, and the final skill I'm gonna teach you today is the skull drill. Now, there are a number of different skull drills out there, so I'm gonna start you off with the same skull drill that I was very first taught when I started swimming too. Lay on your back with your ankles together and hands by your side. Now try drawing a figure of eight shape with your fingers. The movement should mostly come from your wrists with a slight flex in your elbows. By pitching the hands slightly, you should essentially create little repellers with each hand. The aim is to move yourself head first down the pool with just your hands. Now don't worry if you aren't getting the hang of this one straight away. It really can be quite hard and take a bit of time. And also it's quite a slow moving drill. If you are struggling, you could also pop a pool boy between your legs just to help keep those legs afloat so you can really just focus on what you're doing with the skill. But if you aren't starting to get the hang of it and really master it, you could take it up a level and start rotating your hands in the opposite direction and therefore that's going to make you go feet first down the pool, which is quite cool. Now in case you're wondering well, what on earth this has to do with swimming, well actually quite a lot. This is teaching you that all-important feel for the water and essentially bettering your ability to grab and get a perch of the water, which in short is how we power ourselves the through the water when we swim. Now that is it, that's our five skills. Let us know how you get on with them in the comments section down below. As I said at the start of this video, swimming is a really hard sport to master, so do not be ashamed if you're struggling or you've got any questions, you can drop those in the comments section down below and we'll do our best to get back to them. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe.